Joining me now is best-selling author Douglas Murray. Douglas, let's start with the UK riots. Keir Starmer, the police, the media have all been clear who they blame for the unrest. The far right, they say, fueled by disinformation online. There's even suggestions of banning uh, platforms like X and cracking down further on free speech. Is that the answer to what we are seeing, which are really clearly deep underlying issues in communities across uh, the country from, uh, well, good places like Birmingham, Manchester, Liverpool, Rotherham, Middlesbrough, London, and even as far as Belfast in Northern Ireland? Well, yes, this all started after a young man, a 17-year-old, uh, stabbed to death three girls at a Taylor Swift-themed dance party in the town of Southport. And the sense clearly in the immediate aftermath of that this is just an observation, was that the authorities were withholding the identity of the suspect. Now, there are some reasons why they might do that, uh, but obviously tensions locally were extremely high, feelings were extremely high, and uh, the way to try to control the information obviously completely backfired, as, as you would expect it to. And that's led to these riots uh, across city after city uh, in the UK. It's extremely disturbing. These riots of themselves provoked counter-riots where identifiably Muslim young men, some armed, have been also shown on camera uh, attacking people in the streets. And this is really... Uh, just a completely appalling, and I'm sorry to say this, completely predictable uh, situation. Indeed, I can mm. say it's predictable because I said exactly this sort of thing would start happening seven years ago or so in my book, The Strange Death of Europe. It's horrible to be proved right in such circumstances because you don't want to be proved right about something like this. You want people to listen and change their policies. But, you know, the last few days have shown the Labour government refusing uh, to concede that there is anything other than what they call far-right violence going on. They claim that there isn't a two-tier policing system in the UK, which everybody with their own eyes can see is not the case. Clearly, there is a two-tier uh, policing system in the UK. Uh, these areas where this has happened in what's more all areas where there were riots in 2011. And uh, as I write mm. in The Spectator this week, one of the interesting things about that is that all of these areas are, among other things, areas where migration has continued to increase and joblessness has gone up. Now, just think of those two factors, anyone watching. You keep uh, um, forcing immigration onto these areas, and you do nothing to improve the lot in these areas. Of course, nobody should be on the streets. The, the unbelievable hooliganism and thuggery of recent days should repel everybody. But, you know, very often when there is some kind of violence or unrest, we hear political leaders and the, the wise heads in the commentariat saying we need to address underlying causes. Why has nobody said that in recent days?